Hello hey guys, welcome back on this sunny day and thanks for joining me. As you can see there's my flexi stove. I've previously done a video on this flexi stove. This is a new experimental flat stove. It's been made for British soldiers. Cools down really quick after it's finished burning. Cracking little item as you can see. Very simple instructions there. Each pack contains one stove. And I got this from MRV Empire. Always use a stove outside in a well ventilated area. Now when I did this, I used one of those little dragon fuel gel tabs similar to what a UK soldier would have. At the time I was asked about, can you put other things in it? So that's what we're going to find out today. So we've got it open. Holds flat. Pops out. Simple. You light your stove. Mug with your water, drop it in, just take it out, use that tab, lift it out. So why don't we see with some wood if we can make ourselves a lovely cup of coffee. Oh, we've just got some nice simple bits of wood out in the forest, you can use trees. I've only got bits of trees and that that I've cut down that's still green, so... Don't want to use that. Just use your knife to break it all up. Needs to be. And when you've got enough, you can light it up. I got sent this lovely military grade Insta Fire Starter. I got sent this from Thomas Verstraight from the Verstraight Family Channel. I got this with an XMRV. Hey. Sorry about the uh, idiots in the background. As you can see here, even like to wet wood, but we're just going to use normal wood today. And I believe there's enough in here to start four fires. Yep, those up to four fires. So we're not going to be using too much. As you can see, fine granules. Don't know how well it's actually going to work with holes in the bottom. Try that again. These matches are pretty crap, aren't they? Jeez. Oh, oh, it looks like we got lift off finally. Yep. There we go, we got lift off. Right, so we don't want to smother that too soon. Right. So, as we can see, the wood is really starting to take now. Lovely stuff. That Insta fire is pretty decent then. Let's get our water on. There you have it, guys. Look at that. There you have it. There you have it, guys. Cracking little fire going. Going along before we've got that water boiling. We can have ourselves a nice cup of coffee. Alright, so is that starting to boil? Coffee cup. Let's go for three in one. Boom. Can't beat it. As already we can see those bubbles are starting to come to the top. Lovely stuff. And there it is guys. Water hot enough for a cup of coffee. 
it's a little bit uh, warm. And you can see that fire is still burning away lovely inside. Absolutely colouring the inside of that like hell. And you might need to wash the soot out, stop your pack getting dirty, keep your bag, or invest in a better one. Anyway guys, that's fuel number one. Cheers. Damn that. Okay, so that fire is out. And you can see the extent. It's quite battered in there, but I've got a feeling that that's probably from the fire start I used. Rather than just the wood. Right, so. That's some of these. Quite popular UK. Environmentally friendly recycled barbecue highlighters. Where is it? Pop one in. What do you do? Would you like the pack? On your barbecue, away you go. My hands already filthy off that. Well, that worked. Not. Oh, no, is it? Yeah. And there it goes. There it is, people. Taking off. Right. Let's go on with our water. That's going to boil away nice. You can see there's a lot more flames from this than what there was from the wood. To be fair, I think there's quite a few things you can, anything that burns. Anything that burns I reckon you can use inside of here. You can see there's quite a lot of smoke coming out of there. So if you're in a situation where you want to be hiding from people, this is probably not going to be the best way to go. But if needs must, it'll work. So I'll move the camera back and then brought it back in because of all the smoke but I've got to say that has been the fastest so far that the water has boiled it creates a lot of smoke, there's a lot of flames but boy was it quick alright look at that look at that lovely stuff and that fire is still ravaging alright, now it's time for the last one Put those two fire lighters somewhere safe, burn themselves out, and back to it. Standard fuel tablets, military issue. Good old, good old tablets. So I'm just going to pop one out. Probably only going to need one for this one. So already this is really cool. In a matter of less than five minutes I can touch this. <laughs> you wouldn't expect that. And I'm absolutely covered in soot. Okay, so appears to now be lit. Flip it over, lock it into place. And there's a wheel's away. And back again with the water. Right, so this time 
You can see in there that the flame's a lot more subtle. It's not noticeable out the sides. I know you're probably thinking, why didn't I use Well, it's just more fun, isn't it? To use matches, that's what you'd have in the field. You wouldn't have or delete fire lighters. And there it is, guys. As you can see, the last method is starting to come to a nice, gentle, rolling oil. Fantastic. So there you have it. Another three methods of how you can use your flexi stove to heat a pot of water to make a cup of coffee. Number one, wood. Number two, biodegradable natural fire lighters. Three, good old fashioned fuel tablet. And on top of the fuel gel that we used the first time, that's four methods to use your flexi stove to heat yourself a nice brew. Boil yourself a nice boil in the bag meal or just have some nice hot water for a field wash. It all helps. Right and guys, it's been a pleasure. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button. You'll know when I put in a new video. But most importantly, stay safe. And I'll be back with you soon with more eats, treats and MREs. Uh -huh.